Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to create a scene using the Exodus D-Pack in Simple Sci-Fi. So let's launch your Pro version, select GeoGen, select the bottom level Exodus D-Pack, select the top level Exodus D-Pack, and the next thing you're going to do, you're going to adjust the top and bottom density levels, and you're also going to adjust the top and bottom size levels. Then adjust the seed value. Once you're happy with your scene, save your file, create a new file, go to File, Append, and append the file we just saved, and grab the collection, the GeoGen collection, and turn off the collections that made this scene. Zoom in, go to your modifier, set your material preview to 1. Down here, select the material to CWG Gen material, and adjust the node setup to your liking. Maybe change a side map like I'm doing here to give it some color difference. And really experiment with this node setup. There's a lot of stuff that you can do in here to get really crazy results and get a lot of different looks. Uh, there's metallic, there's roughness, there's coloring, there's all kinds of stuff. And even in instances, uh, you can even add a dirty node to the setup. Just drop it in between the color and the base color and adjust your dirty levels. So this is very, very cool. Add some dirt to your scene. Now this looks good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a camera. And I'm going to go to my uh, view and camera to view. And now I'm going to set up my composition for my scene. So there's a lot of ways you can look at this. A lot of ways to change it, angle it, whatever you want to do. Make a nice composition for your scene here. And once I come up, uh, I got this happy. I'm going to lock my camera. And I'm going to go to render view on the viewport. And then I'm going to add a point light. And I'm going to adjust this. Slide it over here and make some adjustments. And I'm going to make a copy of that point light and drag it on the other side and make some adjustments over here as well, which is cool. And I'm going to repeat this one more time to get the front light up in the front of the front of the scene. And of course, I'm going to adjust the light there to not be so bright. So, okay, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add fog. So I'm going to add a cube. I'm going to go to Object Properties, and under the Viewport Display dropdown, I'm going to change from Textured to Wire. Now I'm going to add a new material to the cube, and in the Shader Editor, I'm going to remove the BSDF shader, and I'm going to add a Volume Scatter from the Shader dropdown. Adjust the settings to your liking or steal mine. Now I'm going to do a quick file save, go to the Compositing tab, and click on Use Nodes. Then I'm going to make some adjustments to your liking. Now keep in mind that after you do a render, you can always come back here and change that. So set up your render settings. And I'm going to do one more quick file save. And I'm going to render my scene. And there we have it. Great. After some brightness contrast and a sharpening filter, here is the final image. I hope this video helps you guys creating scenes with Simple Sci-Fi Pro and the Exodus D-Pack. And as always, take care and thank you for all your support. Until next time, bye-bye.